Pride Month should be every month. Fight me, conservatives. <laughs> Flags were made for countries, not genders. What the fudge are you talking about? <laughs> Flags were invented to convey information. Have you ever been to NASCAR? <laughs> have you seen all of the many flags they have at NASCAR? Okay, and like the history of using flags to signal different things. Have you ever seen ships or boats? <laughs> Hey, I've got a flag that means go, and one that means stop, and one that means don't shoot me, please. <laughs> Have you ever seen pirates? Tell me which country this is from. Hmm? <laughs> Have you been outside? Uh... <laughs> What's up, my beardos and weirdos? One topic here, and today we're diving into r slash are the sis okay? And... No. <laughs> but we'll be okay after we go through it and kind of just... Make fun of them a little bit. <laughs> I have a feeling today's video is going to get a little bit spicy. And if that's not your cup of tea, I completely understand. But I think we're going to have some fun. All right, let's get started. Hey, yo, check out peace other videos. Also, my condolences to your mother. Why y'all keep saying OP? <laughs> uh, it means original poster, you know, the post that we're commenting on, the post that I'm commenting on, the post that you're commenting on under my comment and that we're commenting on. Cusco's post, post that you want to use on Cusco. <laughs> that post? <laughs> oh god, a new pronouns! <laughs> oh, that post. <laughs> okay, all right. This next one is incredibly something. I don't think it's safe for anyone to look at. So if you want to look away, it's fine. But it's going to get really weird. Okay. <laughs> no one should see this, all right? This was just a heads up in case you wanted to look away. Okay? I'm too sexy for my diaper. They are not okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> not even, not even close. No. <laughs> if you can't fight, have no muscle mass, and are inexperienced with girls, you're subconsciously insecure. Unlike me, who's totally secure <laughs> writing this post. <laughs> Thousands of years ago, you would be picking berries with the females. Oh boy, I feel like we're gonna have to unpack this one. <laughs> Your DNA knows deep down you're a berry picker, not a G. So you become a passive aggressive dork. <laughs> Sorry, brothers, it's the truth. <sighs> so what you're saying is this person didn't necessarily need specific skills in order to survive in their ancestry, which on its own has its own issues. I'm gonna get to in a moment, but <laughs> you're saying what they spent most of their time on was picking berries with women, which gave them more time to establish better and more communicative relationships with them rather than just going off to show off to the boys. Is your main thing that they don't feel like they need to go and show off to the boys? Is it like a really high priority for you that you go and show off to your boys? Is that what being a G is? <laughs> All right, and <laughs> do you think there's like a direct line of lineage back to one individual person in someone's past? It's like, ah, yes, you have genes from this person and only this person. Do you realize if you go back just a number of generations that like everyone's related to one another, right? In my history class, <laughs> we learned about how many people of the present are related to very specific famous individuals of the past simply because we're related to everyone at some point because everyone's just been having a lot of fun with one another. <laughs> like, look at this chart. Charlemagne. Everyone related to Charlemagne. <laughs> your your joke is silly on just every, everything. But I, I do like that you finished it by just saying, dork. <laughs> is that becoming an insult again? <laughs> she, shim, those are your bro no -ins. Bro no, bro no, bro no -ins. What? <laughs> r slash I had a stroke or r slash with a sis, okay. Bro no -ins. It sounds like a Bionicle character. <laughs> Happy International Non-Binary People's Day. We made you these cakes to remind you that there are only two genders. Pink M&Ms and blue jelly beans. Only these two, if you're not a blue jelly bean, you're a pink M&M. <laughs> these are the only, are you okay? <laughs> you thought this was a good post, right? You spent the time to source images of cakes or like worse, bake them. <laughs> Did you make these? Were you so convinced that this was a great hot sis take that you decided to bake cakes to prove? What are you trying to tell? I, you're just being, you're being, so, oh, I just realized there's only 715 likes and 5,000 quote tweets. <laughs> we have to recognize that sometimes that despite how 
dorky people are being sometimes. That there's just a heck of a lot more good people out there that'll support you. <laughs> there are no pronouns in the Bible. What? What? <laughs> There's like famously many pronouns in the Bible. What are you talking about? <laughs> so you know the individual in the Bible that said, let there be light? What would what would you say what in your specific example from the Bible? What did they say? What did they say that individual identified as? <laughs> he him. <laughs> I am begging cis people to remember that the word cis is a really important addition in articles like this. How about no? And cis people don't exist! <gasps> oh! Okay, okay, did it work? <laughs> I wanted to try this new, like, transition effect. Did it, did it work? <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> ah, does a man lose his manliness if he pees sitting down? <laughs> 43 answers. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this thread is killing me. So many answers. So many wrong answers. Quick summary. Yes, you lose your manliness sitting down to pee. Unrecoverably so. <laughs> they may not tell you to your face, but both women and men will universally agree. You are less of a man. <laughs> I, uh, oh. <laughs> tell me you've never drank an incredible number of beers without telling me you've never drank an incredible number of beers. <laughs> tell me you've never been drunk without telling me you've never been drunk. <laughs> ah yes, here we see in this diagram the man's head. But oh yes, stuffed inside of a man's head. Not that many of you would have expected this. <laughs> it is a brain! And this brain contains food, adult fun time, football, adult fun time, beer, TV, and adult fun time. Wow! Alright, let's see what it's compared next to. A woman's brain! Ah yeah, wait. Filled with love, talk, security, shoes, babies respect. Babies respect. <laughs> Respecting babies or babies respect? What? <laughs> uh, don't buy this mug. Don't buy it. Okay. Can I have anti-commercials in my videos? Don't buy this mug. <laughs> Dear transgender people, it's better to be miserable being who you are than happy pretending to be someone you're not. No matter how happy transitioning will make you. Do not transition. What? 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 Uh, why? What? Because of how it affects you? Being kind of a weird snowflake, don't you think? <laughs> People should always strive to be happy. This doesn't affect you. Why what why are you involving yourself in this conversation? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Today my daughter called me birth person. <laughs> I replied, yes, financial drain. That got her. <laughs> By telling her that I'm a boomer that poorly invested my finances and having a child which shows her that I regret her. <laughs> She called me a person. I told her that she was a burden. Okay, Boomer. I, from your perspective, you made a poor investment, I guess. Yikes. TikTok. Okay, trying to find a girl in 2021. Here's a rose for you, my lady. I'm a lesbian. Okay. Uh, I'm thir- I'm 13. What? 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 You put this on the internet? You what? Ah! Ah! Don't be trying to give roses. Oh, no, they are not okay. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not even the end of it. Pushing past that one. I'm a boy. Okay, so you found a boy attractive. A thousand dollars a night? <laughs> yes, sis, get that bag. <laughs> oh, and you still had a problem with that, didn't you? Yeah, you look super miffed that she knew her self-worth. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, this sis isn't okay. <laughs> being called sis. It's almost dehumanizing. It sounds like a slur or a taunt. I hate being labeled for not being LGBTQ. It's bullheck. Call me straight. Wait. <laughs> Don't use this label. I prefer this label. Do you get it? Do you get it? You were so close. You were so close. Do you get it? <laughs> You're nearly there. You're halfway there. <laughs> Don't make boxes and terms to put me in. Just because I'm attracted to the opposite sex and identify as my biological gender doesn't make me less valid than anyone else. It literally doesn't. <laughs> okay, sissy. <laughs> Imagine being gay and having pronouns, sixth grader. B you have pronouns too. It's called f in grammar. 
<laughs> my pronouns are there is a zero percent chance i'm putting a mask back on <gasps> yay i'm so quirky just tell me that you generally have no regard for the well-being of the people around you in your community without telling me you have a general disregard for the people around you and in your community i don't i just i can't some people <laughs> put your dang masks on <laughs> You get to look like ninjas and superheroes. What is the argument against these? You look awesome with masks on. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Men can't even handle a common cold. Women are as tough as nails. Oh, this, this is going to get a little spicy, isn't it? <laughs> I am not a birthing person. I am a woman. People do not give birth. Women do. Who are famously not people. <laughs> what the fudge? <laughs> Please do not steal this beautiful gift from women in the name of equality. This has just got to stop. You are stripping away our uniqueness. You are trying to steal what we are uniquely designed to do. Not all women can have children. Not all women do have children. What? 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 <laughs> They're called mothers, not birthing people. I don't know if you saw recently, I took a few days off because I have migraines. Often my migraines can last for several days at a time. It's pretty sucky. You have to be in the dark for a while. You just have to like not socialize and not look at screens for a little while. But like reading this post makes me feel like I'm sliding back in there. <laughs> Ah! Non-binary has existed in other cultures and much older ones. No, it absolutely has not. The idea that gender is fluid and distinct from sex is 100% modern. We know which guy made it up. It's all documented. Past societies may have had feminine men and masculine women, but nothing remotely approaching our concept of non-binary. On this online service that I see you already pay for because you are tweeting, which is on the internet, <laughs> it's completely free to fact check this information. Here, I'll, I'll do it for you. <laughs> in these videos, we've learned that there's many cultures throughout history that have studied gender in their people. If you Google non-binary Hawaiian history, this is what comes up. Mahu, in the middle, in native Hawaiian and Tahitian cultures are third gender people with traditional spiritual and social roles within the culture, similar to Tongan, Fakalishi, and Samoan. I'm aware I'm gonna butcher those pronunciations, but it like, even me, with just a cursory knowledge of this information could easily disprove the points that you've made. You, this is silly. <laughs> <laughs> Just Google stuff sometimes. Just double check. Your pronouns do not belong to you. They are not yours to change. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe I'm tweeting this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> they are pushing the trans agenda on children via Muppet Babies. This is sick and perverted. Everyone should be disturbed by predatory cartoons meant to usher children into gender dysphoria. Bring back manly Muppets. Anyone? If I remember this clip correctly, was it Grover? Grover wanted to attend the ball, but also attend the ball in a dress, and then was running away from the ball, and then was embarrassed that they were found by their friends in a dress, and told them how they felt. Then their friends were super chill about it, and was like, yeah, no, you look awesome in a dress, come on, let's, let's go to the ball. <laughs> how are we so mad about people wearing dresses? Is that still a thing? Why is that still a thing? Throughout history, people have worn dresses. Have you never heard of battle kilts? It's pretty... It's Skirt, like at least. <laughs> Resumes? <laughs> You're welcome to apply to this job unless you have a resume with pronouns. Then you go to a special bin. <laughs> Get it? Boomer humor. <laughs> Working with this comparison that you've made, though, I mean, many people's introductions are either written in the third person where they say, Hello, this is John Smith's resume. He has accomplished this many things at this job. Or it's like written from a first person perspective where it's saying, I've accomplished this many things at a job. And like both of those instances, those examples, they use pronouns. <laughs> What is your argument? This game includes pronouns. I will not recommend this game due to the creators of folding to the woke society we live in today. It's either male or female. He or she. I is a pronoun. <laughs> we is a pronoun. It is a pronoun. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> I'm thankful to have grown up in a time when boys were boys and girls were girls and no one was dumb enough to be confused about it. Trans people have always been around. It's not a new thing. And I understand that you may have been limited in the information that you had access to when you were growing up, which was 
most likely pre-internet. But now we're able to see the variances in which many people exist across the world. Why would you still be pushing against that? Huh? I have a feeling that Facebook has become this weird, desolate wasteland of terrible opinions and boomers. And like everyone else left, and now they feel more free to share these thoughts as if they're all fact and no one questions them because everyone else left. Because <laughs> who wants to deal with this all day? It, me, I guess. I'm making a video on it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there are no pronouns. There's only he, she, gay. <laughs> no them, they, and such. Do not normalize pronouns. <laughs> uh, is gay a pronoun now? <laughs> I feel bad for parents nowadays. You have to be able to explain the birds and the bees, the bees and the bees, the birds and the birds, the birds that used to be bees, the bees that used to be birds, the birds that look like bees, plus bees that look like birds but still got a stinger. I know it's tough and challenging for people of an older generation to look at the world and recognize that it is changing and increasingly they are becoming less relevant, where in their parents' generation, perhaps they just became more relevant over time because they were looked as, at as like a sage wisdom holder. <laughs> the local neighborhood warlock or something. I don't know. <laughs> How old were some of your parents? <laughs> but now we recognize that people have like a facet of specialized information that they've learned throughout their life because they haven't been able to experience everything. And we look to those around us who have had different experiences that can teach us more. Just because you have access to more information doesn't mean you really get to ignore it and then mock it and then mock those people that that information applies to. It's kind of on you, fam. You're being a little bit of a dingus. All right, my beardos and weirdos, that's about as long as I can microwave my brain for. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today's video. And if nothing else, at least we got to talk about cassowaries today. They're pretty cool birds. And if you want to know my favorite bird, the shoebill. It's a fun fact about OT. <laughs> if you made it this far in the video, I want to hear what your favorite dinosaur is. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro. Oh. Ah! Ah! Okay, I got a leg! I got a leg! He's a little hoppy now! <laughs> okay, I got my bow now. <laughs> oh! 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 My hubris! My hubris! <laughs> I flew too close to the sun! No! Not karma, don't, don't roast me like this.